Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 7. I am Ryan, the GM, I hope. Uh, it is, what, 7th of June 2019, Session 7, Part 1, Keepers of the Golden Gate. Yep, covered everything. Here are my players. Hey, I'm Callum. I'm playing Eric Quick Rainwood, and uh, I'm a saucer human. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya, who is the half elf druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, who is uh, a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Lickle, a tabaxi rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. And my leg has fallen asleep. Welcome. <laughs> right, so. Our new so thing for, I, I know, right? Like, whenever it decides to join us, yeah. Um, right, new thing for us going forward, for everyday listening, obviously at home, mostly us, when we forget what happened in the previous session. This is the time where we decided to make a party goal as the way to generate a lot of experience, in addition to combat experience. So I don't have to arbitrarily assign social encounter experience. Uh, and at the moment, what I can see here in our tracking sheet, our long-term goal seems to be find out what's happening at the abyss. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. Going to leave that as a medium goal for now. Obviously, we can decide if that evolves at the end of each session. Uh, and then, yeah. As for a short-term goal, have we actually settled on the wording of this? Because keep in mind, the wording can't change. Um, I am looking at the wrong one. After we set the goal is what I mean by that sentence. Yeah, survive the boat and keep Eric alive. No. And surviving the boat, I would say, is keeping Eric alive. Yeah, it adds a bit more difficulty to the situation. Unconscious still counts as alive, yes. What if, what if we change it? Because, I mean, where are you going, right? Where... Get to land then. We're going to the best. Not straight away, you aren't. Going to the right. southern side of the of this. Oh boat. yeah, because we need to stop off. Yep. So you're going to the Golden Citadel. Yeah. So, oh, are we? Right. So oh, why don't you right. have the goal be reach the Golden Citadel? Ryan, I put a thing on the map. <laughs> yeah. I know. I see it. So you think that's a better goal then? Yeah, probably is. Yeah. That's... Can we do that? <laughs> I mean, is the word alive necessary? No. We don't really need these. Uh... Not when we're all dead. It's very yeah, but it's not is it is it citadel? Is that what? Yeah, I, best I don't know. Citadel. Citadel. I think it's right. Yeah. Let's get rid of these question marks. Uh, right, okay, so if we're doing that, because it's kind of in the vein of what you're trying to achieve, right? Right. But therein lies potentially a bigger problem, which I like. Uh, right, okay, just closing all these unnecessary windows that I have open. Right, so reach the Golden Citadel as our short term goal. Uh, I was hoping somebody would have coded this so that it would have colour coded automatically. I'll do that later when I can be bothered. But there's a way to do it if you just type in like E, M, or H, it would code to the colour. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a formula, wouldn't it? And do you want to do that with like the whole row? Yeah. Yeah, because that'd be cool. Um, not obviously these bits because they're immune to such things, but yeah. Cool. Right, so we've got our goals set. Um, as for how they work, start of the session we'll discuss whatever is set as the current goals and we'll try and have a chat about them at the end of the session as well, just to try and bookend the session with obviously the driving force behind them. Um, on top of that, XP for the goals will be awarded at the end of the session if they've been achieved. Um, and then that gives us time to think about new ones and reset them at the start of the session. So generally we'll change them either at the end of the session or the start and we'll cash them in at the end. 
Uh, leveling up still requires resting periods, etc. So you can't just level up mid, like between sessions, if there's been no rest, narratively, um, as well. For example, if you had got enough XP to have leveled here, and we'd start obviously when did in combat. The people downstairs, in theory, could have, but for narrative efficiency, no. That would be a thing you should do mid session. Uh, we'll also do leveling up on recording if need be. Uh, on the fly, depending on what decisions need to be made, because um, at least that way we can keep things going. If there's some particularly difficult decisions, we can leave them for following times if need be. But I think it'd be quite good to have all that stuff just during the session, regardless if need be. But we can, as I said, ad hoc that as we go. Who remembers what happened last time? We we're on a boat. <laughs> Uh, That's pretty much the whole story as well. <laughs> I'm on a boat. I almost had a very bad idea. It's a good thing I didn't go through with it. <laughs> uh, Eric is about to meet the business end of Broadsword. <laughs> or several of them anyway. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe a couple or two. Um, I, I mean, add. I thought I was. I thought I was very proactive in the last section, personally. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, you didn't get into any bother. You. Drank with a uh, Arnold downstairs a lot. Played <laughs> Paladin games, you know. Yeah, exactly how I narrated it. <laughs> um, right. So, Arya, did you want to attempt this recruiting thing you wanted to do, or were you not going to do that? Because you were thinking this. about that. This what thing, sorry? You were going to try and recruit a bird friend. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, give me an animal handling check. And we'll just get this short on Already the going to this. And the drunk people are out. Sorry if you can hear any of that. <laughs> no. Only when you see it. Right. Are you calling me drunk? No. Just that you said that. Right, so day one doesn't go so well. Give me another one. It was to be expected, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Day three. Okay, day four. You're using up all your good rolls. <laughs> Day five. Yep, easily. Without a doubt. Yeah, you have a... What was that, a hawk we were going for? Yes. Yep, uh, you have a hawk familiar. I have a hawk. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I just noticed what I rolled because obviously I was in the thing and I couldn't mm. see. Cool. Yep. So the way I was working that was this was like a over five days of the trip type thing. And yeah. the difficulty had a, a set difficulty, and then each day would move up and down depending on your success rates. Mm -hmm. So obviously you didn't do so well the first day, so the difficulty went up for the next roll. You did really well in the next roll, I bumped it back down to what I had it. You did really well again, I bumped it back down again. You still kept doing well regardless, so yeah, easily. I have no issue with you having a hawk now. Yay, I'm going to think of names and all that jazz soon. Awesome. But yeah. Um, I will, uh, let's see, let me just dump this in here, and then, a random hawk flying. yeah, I mean, don't you dare try to eat it. That totally was not my first idea at, at all. Nope. Or one? No, it totally was. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds to dump this in here. Uh, and then I'm going to edit it so that it can be controlled by you. Uh, boop. And boop. Uh, you should be able to see it in your list of, like in your character folder. 
I do, yeah. There cool. you go. Awesome. Well done. If that had been a goal, that would have been you sorted. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Hawk acquired. Pretty good, though. Right, now. What else happened, guys, that we need to worry about? Probably need to worry about the five pirates, I think, on the ship. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I don't worry about them. <laughs> I mean, the sorcerer's got that in the bag, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking fine. It's, it's chill. So, I'm going to narrate this ever so slightly. Okay. You'll have time to do one thing before everyone's rolling initiative. Okay? Eric Rainwood. Um. So, let's move the map. Well, yeah, well, remember I put them on the map for dramatic effect last time. Yeah. All right, everybody else, I think everybody else is below deck, yeah? Yeah. 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 So, we won't know what's going on up there, which is great. There's land. Also, in case you're wondering what all these giant rubies are, Grumbar, it's my points of vision for the recording at home. Yeah, I remember. Good, good. I did actually watch the video. <laughs> good. I am pleased by this. It's a really good way of catching up. Uh, right, so... Eric. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your... One action's worth of stuff you would like to do. Crap yourself. <laughs> I want to scream parlay. <laughs> sure. That that can be what you want to do, yeah? yeah? I mean, what what's the hope with this? Talk me through your plan. Well, hopefully they live by some sort of code and they'll, they will respect not harming me until I have had a conversation with said captain. Last time we had the fight was five bats and it didn't parley very much. Sorry, I remember. <laughs> I died. <laughs> so, that's fine. We can attempt this as well. But who do you think the captain is? Ah, it'd be that guy, wouldn't it? Okay. That one. I mean, you can think that if you want, yeah? He wears I mean... no captain hat. True. I don't know who the captain is, so did they maybe not I did, and I completely failed at it. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> yep. Oh no, I wrote perception, not insight. Yep. So if that's what you're going to be, yep. Uh, I guess roll persuasion. I guess uh, disadvantage. Right, and then let me make a roll now. Don't get more than 16. It's not a bad roll, by the way. It's like, regardless of it being at this event, it's still a really good roll. Let me see. <laughs> right, let's do. Can I emphasize on the screaming part so uh, certain other people might be able to hear? Uh, yeah, but we'll see. I mean, what's the soundproofing of a ship? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I'm just happy we took a keep Eric alive as one of the ghouls. Mm. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you um, can have that free, you're not allowed the 18. Yeah, it's the 18. Damn it. Yeah. I mean, really, if Eric dies, it's his own fault. So. Yeah. So, let's all roll initiative. And by that, I mean you guys downstairs. Uh, can you all roll perception checks, please? Those of you who are likely to even be awake. So, not Kumba. Uh, 
I'd yeah. be awake. You'd be in the drunken suit, so, uh, like. Tell you what, make a con save, Crumber. Uh-huh. You're normally quite good at these, so make a con save. You are not I awake. Am not, I am not awake. No. <laughs> but you can roll with disadvantage on your perception check. What are you guys doing to me? Uh, and then he's gonna obviously, get all of our rolls. Yeah, obviously, Crumbar snoring <laughs> really loudly. What I love though is Crumbar rolled the like alongside the best roll of you guys. Yeah, <laughs> he's asleep. <laughs> oh, so dead. Yeah, but like he's in, he's I a paladin in. that's asleep, right? So he's trained to listen out for stuff. Um, <laughs> Does right. that mean I wake up? No, not yet. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's see what actually happens here. Uh, give me a second. Let me make another roll. Let's close that over. And it'd be great if there was a button to push for this. Let's do it. There we go. Oh, he doesn't actually no. have the skill. So, yeah. That's for Arnold, by the way. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, so it is. That's... Yeah. Right, okay. So, can... A Adrian, a.k.a. Arya, and Crumbar, you can roll initiative as well. I'll do it for a... Remember, you need to click your token as well. Uh, Adric, you do the same. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, guys. Eventually. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. I mean, it makes sense. I'm asleep. <laughs> right. Okay. So we need. Me one moment. That's okay. I know. I know you're gonna be a wee bit longer. Don't worry. I don't mind waiting. As long as I know you've heard me, that's fine. And then. Go and do this for I just keep forgetting what this bloody thing is. It's not like we do it does hide. every session. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice one. Paladins are drunk. Gotcha, guys. Yes. Shit, I'm not the one that should be going first on these things, but okay. <laughs> uh, although, what's the thing is. Send your new hawk friend in. I'm going to delete that off because that really bugged me. I'm going to make a new token on that space. And then I'm going to roll again, but then change it to a three because it was a three. <laughs> Why is it still going as that? That's really nice. It still puts his name in as that, but I've changed his name. What, the GOP Arnold? Yeah, it's still putting him in as a knight. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's change him to three. He was a three. Uh, right, okay, cool. Let's go to that just now. Uh, descending. And then my other people. So. Nope. That's bad. That's better than mine. <laughs> better than mine. I don't like that. That I can deal with. Right, okay. Let's say uh, we roll back up here. I'm just. Anytime I like, sound like I'm buying time, it's because I need to move the viewpoint of the recording screen between the two levels of the ship. Because I don't have a gaming I'm butler yet. I'll forgive you. Oh, sorry, guys. I am quite tired today. Right, okay, so. Up first, uh, we actually have uh, Arya. So, yeah, you hear someone scream parley upstairs. Um, Would I even know what that means? I mean, Arnold. Uh, I don't think I would have gotten in touch with many. Yeah, but you hear someone scream Arnold something on the top of the uh, the deck. Yeah. So, I mean, realistically, I mean, if you want, you could roll insight. To try and see if you can work out if you get what it means as opposed to understand like if that like the meaning the context i guess is what i mean if you can get the context without necessarily knowing the meaning your character could also be like 
what's parlay mean? And everyone else is like, what? <laughs> the thing is, um, Arnold heard it, so he woke up very quickly. He's just really slow to move. Oh, it's groggy. Mm -hmm. Either way, it doesn't sound like the sound like the sort of like shout that you know people do while they're you know drunk, like a happy sort of hey you know shout. So I think one thing I'm gonna try to do is just shake everybody else awake and be like, guys, what's on? What's going on? Mm -hmm. So for your goal, what would you like to do? Remember, you've got your move, your action, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you've woke up so because of this. Screaming. Yeah. What do you do? Again, I mean, it doesn't sound like a happy scream, so I'm just gonna like wake everybody else up, basically. Like, what's this that? Is, it's a very much frightened scream, if that helps. So, what is it you're doing to wake them up, though? Like, what is your like? What do you do? Talk to me. Like shaking people and like but like ideally with a map with a hand over their mouth so they don't freaking like yell we don't want to i mean if if i'm worried about something i probably don't want us to make a lot of noise down here i mean keep in mind as well that you you do also see the fact that both crumbar and arnold have like woke up and you oh, have, okay. you have rolled initiative up. Oh, okay. So you're preparing well, to act. Sure. Wait, kids okay. have rolled initiative. Um, no, not yet. I've not had them do it. I, um, it's going to take longer to realise what's going on. Okay. I'm going to grab my, like, closest sort of weapon. Yeah, you could be with your stuff, because yeah. Because that sounded like... Because obviously I'm assuming that we won't be, like, armoured or anything because we were sleeping. So it's like even our weapons and stuff would be away from us. Yeah, I mean you can have been like your stuff can be at your feet. Um, obviously armor wise, yeah, MD who was sleeping does not have armor on. You would not sleep in armor. Yeah. Again, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I pick up my stuff. That's definitely something I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of looking at these guys and like, what's going on? Okay, so you can pick up stuff as part of a move, so you could start to head towards the top of the ship if you wanted, or you can stay down. Yeah. So, yeah. this way, um, where am I? Where am I clicking? This, is this? Not let me click, for some reason. It's fine, I'll move down on this one. So, this is a way up. Yeah. Uh, that's a way up there, or... So that one there is a way up. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was uh, I wasn't looking. I was on equipping my armor. <laughs> oh, that's good for me. Yeah, it's pretty handy. So, what's your plan? Yeah. So I'm grabbing my stuff and I'm kind of like tiptoeing on the stairs, sort of thing, kind of like going towards it, but not like rushing, you know, in. Because I'm aware of the fact that I don't have fireware and I'm, like, not a big scary dude, you know? Right, so you're going to go up the stairs? Yep. Okay, so if that's the case, I will move you. Mm-hmm, that sounds about right. Up the stairs. Ryan, does Aramos not roll for an uh, initiative? Nope. No. Okay. Kids out like a light. I mean... No one's looked at him yet. He's our guest, dude. Right, so you're here. Yeah. You've used 25 yeah. foot. You've got, I think, 5 foot probably left. Or you can act from there. Because you still have an action. I will... Because if I get any closer, I won't be able to, like slash at the guy or whatever like we don't know what's happened we've only heard this guy our guy said yelling parley well, we don't know if they've reacted in any way to grants of parley exactly but so. you see a bunch of guys brandishing weapons all heading for edric or eric sorry not edric 
okay, I, I brandish my weapon as well and like, you know, kind of like, you know, reinforcement sort of thing. Like I'm obviously on Eric's side, sort of. So is it your scimitar you're drawing? Yes. Okay, yes. yep, that's fine, yep. Are you going to use five feet of movement or are you happy where you are? I think I could use the five feet of movement just to go diagonally and like... Because I don't want him to be surrounded by them. So I could move you only, to the... You could only really go there with five foot. Like if you had ten you could go there. Like there. No, because you need to go there and there. Because you'd be climbing over this. And you need ten to oh, get Oh shit, sorry I didn't notice that. Yeah, okay, in that okay. case I'll stay put. Actually no, because I'll be in the way. I'll be in the stairway and I'll yep. be blocking others. <laughs> they can um, move past you though. But it would be um, oh, difficult yeah, to read on that. Sure. Um, would I have enough movement to like not be in the way? That's all I'm thinking. You can move here, but you are engaged with this guy if that's the case, so congratulations. <laughs> He's not giving me a ring! I won't be engaged to somebody that doesn't even give me a ring. <laughs> I know what you meant, but... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it does look like we would... Yeah, you've pulled a sword, mm -hmm. you've headed in, it's almost yeah. like, you know... Yeah, yeah. Yep, cool, good, good. Uh, right, we'll move on to that dude at the back that was um, accosted with the wonderful word parley. My leg is still asleep for everyone who cares. It's very painful. Thank you. And so Eric is obviously probably kind of very cautiously staring at this guy. You can see that the guy just kind of like scoffs and spits off to one side, and then um, he runs up there. And he kills the first mate. Ah. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Or the captain, whichever one it was. It was one of the two. One of them was asleep. The first mate. I think it was the first mate, I think. The previous recording will have that answer. Mm. But one of them's dead. Similar to the gullet. Uh, Eric. Hi. Magic time. What's uh, the plan? You remember this cube, right? Mm hmm. I'll go to Thunderway. Okay. Okay, dokes. So, I need to make a DC 10, Quincy, uh, 12, sorry, 13. Words, Ryan. Words and numbers. On these dudes. Wait, Thunderwave. So, essentially, you're Pikachu. I am fucking Pikachu, yes. <laughs> so, right, it hits the four of them. I'll just move this out of the way so I can actually click on my tokens. And then, let me go get their sheets. Right, so I need four con saves. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, so, one of them succeeded and the rest didn't. So, oh, shit. so what is what was it? Fifth? What was it? Fifteen damage? It was so fifteen damage, which is a pretty damn good roll, by the way. That was one off max, just so you know. So you did you? one point off max damage. Um. So one, two, three, four. Did you? Ah, oh, it's okay. Sorry. So it is half of seventeen. No, that was his concept. So half of fifteen is seven, because we run down. Let me yeah, uh, hit this. That makes sense. And then... And then for 300 feet... Do you want to tell us the rest of this spell? Oh, I am. Yeah, so... Uh, for 300 feet, you can hear a, a loud thunderous boom. 
Uh, right, now this guy. Let's see, he failed and is pushed 10 feet away from you. So, 5, 10. So he smacked away. I mean, uh, they also take 2d from the damage. 2, 2d8. From you've the already damage. done that. We've already covered that. Ah, cool. Yep, so you've already rolled that. See in the chat log, you've got 15. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, and if you highlight the 15, you roll a 7 and an 8. You were one off maximum. Damn, son. Mm hmm. So and everyone takes half damage. Except one. So one person takes half damage, the rest all took full damage. Cool. Because your DC th 13 is the roll I have to make to pass or oh, fail that. Oh, the first roll then? Yeah. Cool. So it's the first roll. They don't have advantage against this. It's just all of my stat sheets generally roll twice automatically so I don't have to toggle anything. And I can just decide if it's advantage or disadvantage or whatever, if it was applicable. So yeah. So essentially your thunder wave has a uh, killed most of them. Cool. Yeah. Wait, seriously? Yep. That was a cracky thunder wave. Uh, everybody downstairs obviously heard this. You must hear that. I want to roll, but yeah. Not yet. It'll be next turn. Once the yeah. turn resets, we'll add everybody else into the initiative that isn't in already. Uh, right, so the bandits. Uh, this guy, a bit confused, obviously. Uh, let's see, where are we? There's no other effects. Just 300 feet. So there's a massive thunder crack. Um, and then this guy goes, what the hell? And goes, bip, bip, walks back, and then. He kind of he says something in a dialect that you're not necessarily familiar with. And uh, it doesn't sound polite, put it that way. Rude? Indeed, in fact. And then... Can I do a reactionary shield to give it? I mean... You could have. But he's it? missing. Anyway. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> You look at the roll, it's just like, oh no, I had to bleep. Yeah, that's fine. So, the way that works is, if I'm going to roll an attack against you, right, so it's something I should probably keep in mind as well. He's going to move up and attack, you would then say, cool, I'm going to impose my reaction to cast shield. Right? Makes sense? But that's only yeah. if you're hit, because I think the exact wording of this spell says if you're hit with an attack. Uh, let me check. Yeah, check that, because if it, it's very, the wording's very important for the timing of it. Yeah, it trigger, uh, it's when an attack is triggered against me. Right, okay, so it's before you even know if it's hit or miss. So if I'm going to attack you, remind me to state if you're about to be attacked or not before I actually hit the roll. Because then cool. you need to decide to roll shield or not. So in theory, you could have used it there, and it wouldn't have mattered in theory, blah blah blah, but that's the point of having it. That's yeah. the, the pros and cons of seeing my rolls. Normally you would never see GM rolls, but I don't care. I think it's kind of cooler if you see them in scarier sometimes. Um, but yeah, he walks all the way up, swings in the miss. You don't have to use that. I assume you've already marked down a spell slot as well. Mm -hmm. For Thunderweave. Good. Uh, Arya, if you hadn't been awake before, you were definitely awake as soon as you walk up and just see Eric, you know. I mean, how did it look for Arya? You, you describe how that would have looked as she walks out, pulls her scimitar out, walks forward to one guy, and then. Eric. Well, uh, just a massive, like... Doesn't matter, she's gone. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's back. Oh, she's back. Good. Shall I carry on? Uh, Arya, can you hear us? Yes or no? Type something. I can hear you Yeah, now. good, 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 yeah, good. I don't know cool. what's happened there, sorry. It's okay, so I'm just going to get Eric to describe what he... Like, what you would have seen when you walked up the stairs, pulled your scimitar, walked forward, and then... I kind of, like... Do a... He went all big at one, didn't he? I kind of clapped and everyone died. Just on a <laughs> massive blank. Oh, I think they're dead. <laughs> There's a yeah, big. There is a thunderous boom that goes out to 300 feet. Everybody can hear it. And uh, right next to it. it killed three of the four bandits in front of him. Nice. Yeah. So you're no longer engaged, if that makes you better. Uh, yeah. 
burned it and walked up and attacked. And Missed. yeah. Crumbar. Probably still dazed. Still with us there, Crumbar? Yeah, I'm still here. Good, because it's your goal. Oh, is it? Right, sorry. Um, okay, so. Uh, I'm guessing I'm awake and I'm up. Hey, you're awake. Obviously, you can pick up your hammer mm. and head off. Uh, can I... See, as I'm getting up, can I equip my armor? No. It would take like, something like, was it 10 minutes ten or something? Minutes, Is it? Uh, let's just quickly check that just now so that I actually get the rules. Dawn. Dawning armor. That should be a thing. Um, Sorry, I was reading stuff in there. Doff. Doffing armor. Let's see. 5e. Dawning. Doffing. I'll find the exact thing for you. Let's see. Let's see. Where are we? Donning, 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 doffing, doffing, doffing. So you're in what? Heavy armor? Yeah. Yeah, 10 minutes to put on, 5 minutes to take off. <laughs> uh, so in that case, um, as Crumbar's standing up, he... As I stand up, I... <laughs> As I stand up, um, I look over to Eremos to see if he's awake. Uh, I mean, after that thunderous boom, yeah. <laughs> so he is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, picking up my hammer... I shout at Eremos to stay down uh, below deck and I run up the stairs. I think like we have this like as you like jump up, look around, pick up your hammer, spot Eremos and go, Stay below deck like yeah. Eremos just kinda like looks up, is rubbing his eyes and is like, What? But by the time he said that you've already run upstairs. Yeah, I've already boosted <laughs> upstairs. Yeah. Um, could you move me upstairs? Yeah, I, I, upstairs. I can. Yeah. So five, ten to there, and then fifteen to there. Where are you going now? So remember, you can move uh, through. How many more feet do I have? What is the core? You've done fifteen, so you've got fifteen left. So I'm gonna move. You could move right through all of them to stand in yeah, front of Eric. Um, I'm going to move right through all of them to stand there. Yeah, that's your move done, yep. Do I still have an action? Yeah. Then with a big grin on my face. Miss. Uh, swing my hammer. Nope, you hit. If that, if that doesn't hit, I'd be worried, right? I would <laughs> also be very worried. Let me go check. It hits. No worries. <laughs> uh, what is I do next? You click on Warhammer two-handed. Yeah, and then go boop 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 boop. Nice. Can Can I describe I... how you kill? Well, I was gonna before I do that. You know how I have um, where is it? What's it called? Don't know. What is it called? Literally just from Divine Smite. Mm -hmm. Can I use that on top of it? The one that. Um... So you want to use a spell slot on someone you've already killed? Oh, is he already dead? For four damage? He was hit before that. Oh, right, was he? Yeah. Fair enough. Remember the. Th In that oh, oh, you didn't. You technically didn't see it. You'd have heard it. <laughs> Literally yeah. and imaginary. <laughs> Sorry, I was. I, I thought he was one of the guys that avoided it. Uh, no, so four of them were hit, but one right. of them made their con save, which means he only takes half damage. Oh, right, okay, sorry, yeah. right, okay. I so, get you now. a bunch of them took 15 damage, and one of them took 7. Right. Yeah. And okay. you may have hit the guy that took 7. Rewinding the, before my train of thought then, Crumbar has 
rushed up the I stairs. I have rushed up the stairs. I have rushed up the stairs. I've rushed past the area, lifting my hammer. The oh, area. <laughs> what, sorry? Uh, I have rushed past her, run, run towards the guy, I lift my hammer above my head and bring it crashing down on his head. Crumbar makes yeah. thunder too. <laughs> 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 yeah, this guy gets like, like just bopped on the head. It's a bit like whack-a-mole. There is no head in this guy's armour. There is mostly just shoulders and blood. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't think you've got any bonus actions, do you there? No. I don't think I get any bonus actions. Cool. We're going to have... Hey Where Arnold. Give you bonus, bonus it would be an ability that you have. Uh, he yeah. is gonna move when I remember where he is. Bip, bip, bip. Bip. 15 to there. And then it's. Ugh, move him all the way there. 20 to there. And then he's gonna. Oops, my bad. He's gonna move there. 4, 10. Good. That's a total of 30. And that's him. Okay, can everybody else who hasn't rolled initiative now roll initiative? Uh, <coughs> oh, oh, oh boy! <laughs> Let me just <laughs> refresh this. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Cool, I'll get rid of those because they're no longer on that turn order now. Cool. So. That happens, and then... Can... Where are we here? Oh. I'm getting a lot of lag. That's what I'm getting. Give me a second to try and stop that happening because that's really annoying. Is it a lag on my end do you think? I know it's for me. Um, oh, okay. It's me trying to work in this right what layer are these hiding on? That's so weird. What is that? Right it's that. That needs to go away. There we go. Let's move that away. Good. Um, no, I've got things in different layers, and it was uh, clipping. So when I was trying to select certain things. Okay, so. Ta da! These guys from Crumbar, Adric, Arya, and Arnold's point of view. These guys appear. Just jump over the side. No, no. They shimmer in. Like Star Trek teleport type of shimmer in? Mm, like, imagine the Romulans appearing. Yeah. Like that. Other sci fi franchises also exist. Mm. Crumbar grins at the fact that he has more things to hit. Yeah. Right. Arya, you're up first. So at the moment there are still two, no actually three, baddies. On the there are five. Ship. There are five. I can't count. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, so these guys just shimmered in. Oh shit. Okay. This guy um, was here the whole time. So it's likely that he's the one that's been causing it. Mm, do I have... Actually no, because I'll have my scimitar in my hand. I'd have to take an action to take out my bow. You could drop so. the scimitar and then pull your bow out as an action. Uh, not as an action, sorry, as part of your move. Um, so you could drop scimitar for a free action, pull out bow as part of a move, action, take yeah. a shot. I'll do that. Yeah. Oh, I did, I get to take a shot as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
I don't think I'll get it the shot as That's well. That's okay. So are we gonna shoot uh whom? The guy that was there all along. Okay, yep, cool. I was thinking he may have made them shimmer in. Cool. Roll your attack. I mean I don't think I even need to look at the uh the character sheet, but I will. Nah. Your arrow sticks into the uh, the mast here. Oh, well, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's because this guy's in motion, etc., etc. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark off an arrow, obviously from your of course. your resources, your many arrows, and then <laughs> fun enough, it's that guy's turn. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? And other such phrases. And then he is going to start making his way to you, I think. Yep. Oh well. He is going to go. Can he get anywhere near you? Yeah, he can get there. And then. Eighteen hits you, doesn't it? It does, I think. Let me check. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my armor cost seventeen, so if that's eighteen, then it hits me, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of some of these in case this is what's causing the the lag. Right. Okay. Cool. That should hopefully have reduced that. Uh, yeah, so that happens. Uh, you take seven damage. Do you want me to mark it for you? Or are you able to do that? I'll do it. Cool. And this is from him walking forward. He's got his scimitar in one hand, reaches into like his uh, belt, pulls out a dagger, does a cool wee flip. So he's holding the blade and just throws it at you. Which one was that? The guy right in front of you. Uh, so that that one. Oh wait, that guy. That right. guy. Yeah, that guy. It was here, and I went mm. bip, 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 bip. Ah right. Yep, yep. Uh, and then it's Kitty. Let me just move my camera well. back downstairs. <laughs> I am, of course, going to go, like, ah, meow, up, up the stairs to see what the heck is going on. Right, two seconds, let's go and do all the measurements that I need to do. So, That's printing a jarry milk. Yeah. Right, so we've got there 15 feet to get onto the stairs. Let me just take you to there, and then let me transport you. And then, whoop, uh, 20 to get to there. And So you've used 20 to get to where you are. Um, you get 10 so you I could am. just hop up here for 10 if you wanted or but am I not in range of people this guy isn't engaging you just yet as soon as you go here you will be Yeah. but you could go there and still not be engaged because yeah, there's a drop obviously there like there is a distance of some feet between here and here because yeah. you are lower down and he is higher up yeah uh, all right, so I'm going to move. To and that this guy is with us. This is this is Arnold, the paladin. Oh, oh okay. Because he had a red circle around him. I thought he was one of the. Don't enemies. judge by the a person circle. <laughs> Colorist. Can I? Can I just ask guys? See the pirate captain, or bandit <laughs> captain, or whatever he is. That guy. He is. Yeah. Can Can we try and take him alive for interrogation? Um, my. My, my, do really do. my spells don't quite listen to the the rules of parlay. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you can you try and not kill him? I'll let you guys deal with that then. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it's an idea. And he just killed somebody, so I wanted to shove an arrow at him. So is that where you want to go, Kay? Yeah, I'll go there, and I will shoot at this dude mm -hmm. with my. 
uh, long bow, short oh. bow, whatever the heck bow it is I've got. With... I've got a hand crossbow. Yes. What are you pulling out? I will equip my hand crossbow. Cool. And you've got proficiency with a hand crossbow, don't you? I do. It terrifies it... me, the idea that you have one of them. <laughs> I mean, we didn't record how much stuff she took for a reason. I it would have been a whole a session's worth of <laughs> audio. <laughs> Let's just say, it, there's a lot of money in the kitty. Let's put it that way. Yes, yes there name, is. Name for the episode. That, was... that would have been last episode. Actually. But oh, yeah, it? hand crossbow would be a, a proficiency, yeah, and it should already be coded in for your. So I don't need to do anything. I just you should need just, to you click, just click, click the button, yeah, and then obviously mark down a bolt when you you fire. Go hand crossbow. Go go gadget. And let's see. Yeah, that's not the right shield one. That's just the right shield one. Uh, yep, that hits. Nice. Uh, I guess that ends my turn. No, no, you click on the button. Oh, sorry. That's okay. It's okay. We're here. Yep. So come out, pull out your uh, hand crossbow. Fupa! Up the stairs. He goes, Ow! I have been fupaed! <laughs> As he holds his uh, stomach with his bolt hanging out of it. But he's also considering retirement, looking at the bolt. <laughs> so. <laughs> it is gold. So, uh, oh my god, seriously? It's Golden Order <laughs> stuff. Everything in the Golden Order is gold. Even, even the bolts are gold? That's very. So, um, yeah. Where are we? It's maybe just like magical effect, but yeah, whatever. Uh, yep, that would be Kitty's turn now, unless you get any other jo like nonsense. Do you have a cunning action? Um. No. Is there anyone I'm near an enemy? That's that sneak attack you're thinking. Oh. Cunning action is your additional cannon. rogue thing you can do. I don't know where that is. It'll be in your red text area, bottom right. If anywhere. Uh, no. Right at the bottom. Let me just get rid of all of this stuff that's open. Uh, okay. Uh, quick thinking agility allow you to move and act quickly. You can take a bonus action on each of your turn. Dash, disengage, or hide. Ooh, I could hide. So, where you are, no. There is nowhere to hide. You're literally in the viewpoint of, like... Everyone. Like, actually everyone. <laughs> well... Yeah, that's me done then, guys. Cool. Eric. Lightning time. <laughs> so what's the plan? Talk me through it. What? I see a couple of options. I either... see a silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> I could either pull my crossbow out and true strike someone and then wait till next turn to shoot, or I could just, like, obliterate someone with a which and I'm not too sure which one to go Right, for. so what would Eric do then, right? So talk through it, you've just, you've been ambushed, you went, parley! And then the big guy at the back just ran up and killed the person commandeering the boat, or commanding the boat. And then uh, you went, ah, okay. Thunder wave! <laughs> and smushed everybody. And got rid of the people in front of you. More people appeared, you've had um the big dude head over and throw a dagger quite quite horribly, actually, at your druid. Uh, the cats appeared and shot someone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a mess. So you tell me, what you want to do? Mm, I'm thinking... I would like that little conversation we just had about trying to keep someone alive. Is that like something our characters just had? No, but that was, uh, to me, that was a player conversation. Right, okay. So you don't necessarily think that as Eric. You might so, as Eric, but that's your I call. Mean, I kind of hope that your your life would be a priority to yourself. Well, hmm. part of my uh, <laughs> personality traits is to, like, kind of protect family, and 
I, I would say Eric views the party somewhat as family, and seeing Such a quick, Arya getting, quick adapter. In, <laughs> getting injured, I believe he would uh, want to take revenge on the captain. Okay. So, just so I'm not in a way of uh, Kumba, I wish to move there. Okay, we're going to stand on him. I'm hidden. Can I just, I'm better than a cat. Just going to move him out the way. I'm going to witch bolt. That guy. Cool. Yeah, go for it. Thought we weren't going to kill him. I mean, this I is... mean, that was a player conversation. Eric's quite angry at the uh, the captain for injuring I would, And this might not kill him. <laughs> He was wearing gunpowder. He really didn't. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, I'll check just in case. But I'm pretty sure that didn't do it. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's more likely to hit you. <laughs> well, it is a critical fail, but... <laughs> uh, let me just move back up, because I keep forgetting to change the viewpoint. Sorry, folks. Or me. There we go. Right, so yeah, that does not, like, you shoot off wildly. I mean... Well, what, I'm not in control of it, so... Is yeah. it the fact that like, you got to try and cast it, but then you end up, like, maybe stumbling a bit over your footing? You know? Maybe that's a good excuse since you're climbing over a body. Could like, I... Could Crumbar be the reason that he didn't hit? I mean, it's Eric's role, so it's up to him. I, don't really care. I mean, like, I kind... Uh, Eric's quite... I say, I say Eric. I'm quite um, new to sorcery, I'd like to say, and I believe that casting one big ability straight after another one is a bit too much toll on me, just like... Yeah. Oh well. I'll Channeling energy is tough. I'll save my bitch slap to you for the next turn, for my turn then. <laughs> what he means is when he rolls a one trying to hit someone, he'll use it. He's going to slap me, yep. Oh, no, no, straight off, I'm slapping you. <laughs> uh, right, you've still got movement left, remember? Um, I'm going to... You don't need to move, but you do have a left. And any bonus actions you may wish to take, if you have any? Uh, no, I'm good. Cool. Bendy toads. Right. Let's just work our way through this mess. So, guy up on the hill here is going to make an attack against Eric because screw that noise. <laughs> 11, does that hit you? Nope, it does not. A uh, guy up here uh, is going to make a step down here and then swashbuckle the cat. Swash, swashbuckle. Cat, be cut. Cat has nine life though. Fine. Not in this universe. <laughs> I realize I did it. It's one of those very deliberate, like, stumbles down the stairs type walks where he's holding his gut with his bolt in it. Just very dramatically walks down the steps and just stabs the cat <laughs> with his sword. Yeah, the thing is though, the only reason he's holding, still holding the bolt in his gut is because he wants to sell it later. Very potentially. Uh, and then we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, this guy's probably going to go for the knight, realistically. And let me work out what the knight actually has. Uh, give me two seconds. I need to find his sheet. Where did I put his sheet? There we go. Hey Arnold. Where are we? He probably has the worst. Yeah. He ain't doing great. Literally 15? Yeah, that's gonna hit. His dex is shit. Who's this that's attacking? Uh, this is the bandit attacking Arnold. Right, cool. Who's also not in his armour. But he's just been for plot. He and is the armor. This guy is 
probably gonna go for probably crumber crossbow bolt for pa ping pings off crumber off his tusk <laughs> there we go uh, that is my bendito is done reach and wow yeah you can finally do this is the longest you've survived in any combat uh, I, <laughs> I don't even know what we're fighting yet. <laughs> 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 I'll but, go, wow, what was that noise? Disturb my meditation. As right, everybody go. runs all the way upstairs and there must there rubbing his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> After so, Crumbar shouted at him. <laughs> so I'm running up, of course, five, then ten to that point. You teleport yep, me. I shall indeed. So you're at fifteen there. Uh, I don't I can't see. Move up. Yep. Cool. Right. And you are engaged at that point. Straight away. Yeah. Cool. With this guy here. Yeah. Not a problem. Very happy about that. Right. Yeah. Uh, Weirdly, um, you I, could reach. I, punch <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> I just pulled his ankle off the footing. <laughs> Two handedly with my quarter staff. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Literally poking them on. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Yeah. Right, it does. The guy, it's <laughs> nice. he's a good day, isn't he? That's Arnold, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right, right. That's why I painted him gold. To help yeah. Kay. With her racism. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Tickle him there. Right, okay. <laughs> you smack him in the toes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, like he does. He hops from uh, foot to foot. It was sore. I wish oh. that was enough to kill him. It would have been so funny. <laughs> just stab you in the toe and you die. It's not that. It's like you smack him in the toe and he like jumps off overboard or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, cool. Yeah. Um, right, anything else you want to do on your turn? Yeah. Uh, how bad are we? Half, half. I mean, don't you just get a bonus action? I get a bonus action at least. If I spend a key, I get two. So that's what I'm just wondering. So it just depends if you think you're two damage on top of whatever Kitty's bolt did is enough for this guy. I, I'm going to. Uh, actually, I don't. I'm going to spend a key and I'm going to hit him twice with at least one enemy, one unarmed. Right, so talk me through what it is. This is the flurry of blows? Flurry of blows, yeah. Right, so let me go find it. Like, do you want to paste it into the chat? Immediately after you take the attack action on your turn, which you've done, spend one key point to make two arm strikes as a bonus action. Yeah, so. So it's my bonus action. Yep. So unarmed. And does that hit? Let me go find out if that hits. It does? Yep. Yep, it's so roll damage. Cool. And done. He's done. Yeah. Done, done. Right, brilliant. Cool. Nicely done. It's him in the knee and he smacks his head on the banister. Yeah. Uh, I've still got movement. Mm -hmm, you do? And you're not engaged anymore. That was 15. Can I go diagonal there? Does that count? Does uh, so diagonal, that is a mast. You cannot go into there. Uh, I mean, uh, down right, I was thinking. Why don't you measure where you want to go and you, I'll tell you if it's legal. <laughs> yeah, can you try it anyway to see if you're stronger than the mast? It's more about <laughs> wanting the boat to it's get to where it's going. Where I'm in, right? <coughs> we've we've got another one. What well, is it? It's a cure something we use usually. Yeah. It's the yeah. hairbrush. That's where I want to go. Eh? Where? Right, you want to go up there, right? So you would need to do. You would need to go up here for ten. Right. To climb that, or you would go ten to there and then this way. Can you not pop over the barricade? Uh, you could try and make an acrobatics check to go this way, but it is a it's a tough one. I can jump high. Is that just a statement you're making to me, or do you have a move that lets you jump high? I've got a move that makes me jump more than what usual is. What is that move? I'm hoping it's just martial arts, but I really can't. <laughs> Help yourself, I'm going to have a look as well here, but I'm sure <laughs> I'll start in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not going to be away actually, technically. So that means, because I started a flurry of blows, that probably breaks that. 
Ah, right, okay, no, it's in step of the wind, there it is. And that is one key point, so it would be that, right. Jump distance is doubled for the uh, time. Like, so. it would have been a... No, I'd say, like, if you spend a key point, like, the jump distance doubling isn't an action. The bonus action would be changing the disengage and dash from actions to bonus actions. But you're not disengaging or dashing. You're just using the rest of your moves. So if you spend another key point, you can just be up there. Make sense? Right. So it's up to you. You can spend a key point to be there for like, what, five movement from where you are? Yeah. So it's up to you if you want to do it. And you've used what, fifteen to get 15. to where you are? I'm actually I'm so close. And, all right, okay, fifteen. So twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Now I'll just go. I'll just go there for forty. Cool. Leave That's fine. Yep. So you like hop up there, bip, 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 all the way around. Cool. <laughs> I I like the idea though that it's like you come out, you see him poke him, and then kind of just grab his foot and lift his foot up really high to like tip him. <laughs> it's good. Uh, right, we're on to Crumba. Uh, Crumba, Dynamic, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone still downstairs? No, everybody's upstairs, right? Good. Uh, <laughs> Are you okay there, Scott? Was that a bit much for you? <laughs> yeah, you just threw me off my train of thought. Um, right. See how uh, they run. Eric's. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're right. See how Eric's crossbow bolt missed the bandit captain. So his uh, witch bolt. Don't want a crossbow bolt. <laughs> he shot a bolt of yeah. lightning out. All right. Yeah. He's. I, I, I said bolt. You know what I mean? Like, um, what was it called? A witch bolt. Witch bolt. Yeah, witch bolt. That bolt. Um, what bolt? Yeah. <laughs> you're a bandit. <laughs> Why bolt? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Carry on. You guys. Right. <laughs> uh, right. Would Crumb Bar, me, whatever, have noticed that he was attack trying to attack the bandit cap? Yes, definitely. You saw him shoot yeah. lightning at him. Yep. Missed. In that case, Crumb Bar. You. Me. Yep. Uh, I turn to Eric. And kind of that kind of warning punch him in the shoulder, and then yell to kind of everyone in the group that no one to attack the bandit captain with to take him alive, and then point him point right at him and just right. I was looking at the five E quick reference guide. Yep, yep. See how the improvise action. Oh, sorry, what what guide is this? <laughs> uh, I'll post it in the thing. Is this the one that uh, Stu sent that I said didn't seem legal? This one. Let's have a look. Please stand by. Everybody else think of your moves upcoming and such? That's not mine, that's yours. Was it mine? Is that, that, yeah, that's the one you sent me. Cool. Give me a second. I'm uh, waiting on another browser opening because and obviously, who needs more browsers? Oh, I like opportunity attack. Like enemy leaves your reach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sad time for all of us. Yes. <laughs> right, okay. That's The only thing that means is you can say you want to try something. Yeah. So yeah. It's, not like, it's not like a specific move, if that makes sense. It's just yeah. you say, what if I tried to do this nonsense thing? And I go, yeah, roll this. <laughs> Basically, I'm wanting to try and taunt him. Right. Okay. Um. So. Well, what's of like all, to what end, though? So that he would stay focused on me and not try and kill everyone else. Right. Okay. So. You know. A persuade, really. Yeah. Basically, that kind of. I've been like. I've just basically kind of pointed at him, being like, you know. No one attack him, pointing at him, and just kind of like draw his attention. Kind of, oh wait, shit! There's this giant fucking guy coming, charging towards me. Yeah. So, so I mean, keep it this way. Right? So think about right. 
your intention and how you describe the action is where I make the judgment call on what skill it would yeah. be. So you saying that you want to convince him to attack you only is persuade, mm -hmm. right? Makes sense? Yeah. If you were yeah. saying that you wanted to intimidate him into yeah, so yeah, yeah. but into that. what? Because that would make him scared of you if that's not wanting to focus on you, right? Do you see my point? Yeah, true. So you you describe what you're trying to do and then I'll tell you the skill you're rolling. Right. I'll use my move roll, my move action in this as well. So I've punched it, Eric in the shoulder, and yelled to everyone, We take the cap we take the captain alive and point right at him and then go, you know what? He's mine and run towards him. Oh why can't I move my guy? Because you've got the measurement comb. Yeah, sorry. Run towards him <laughs> and I'm trying to work out if I should have. Right, yeah, because if I can, I, I, see, do I have to announce that I'm doing a non lethal attack before I do the attack? Or can I say that after? I mean, if you want to just attack him. Yeah. yeah. You can just attack so, him, yeah. Uh, Crumbar has. Sorry, I've ran towards him, and in the momentum, I have thrusted my hammer forward towards him. Yes, yeah. It has got him right in the gut. That's going to kill him. Is that going to kill him? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Well, hammer's got him right in the gut. Now, like, you swing your hammer as you thrust it from whatever angle Crumbar thrusts. Like and then yeah, so he just, just like puts out his uh, scimitar and puts his hand against the blade and just, like, braces most of the hit from the attack. Mm. And this guy just grits yeah. his teeth and, uh like half of the bottom row from the middle all the way to the left side are all gold. So in other words, not killing him is not really an issue. Mm. Right. So all his bottom issues. teeth are gold. Like half of his bottom teeth are gold, yeah. All right. As he grins. As if you look like you're going to be fun. Yeah. Oh yes, I fucking am. <laughs> um, right, okay, that's good. I'm from, you know. Yeah. So, the knight, aka Arnold, he is a, right, let's do a roll uh, and see where he's going sorry, from. Sorry, just, yeah? just while I'm typing up this note, is he a pirate or is he a bandit? Just... Uh, these are all pirates. Right. I will call them various things, as you know. I just change <laughs> the names of things all the time. Cool, he's going to go after him too. Right, so he goes one, two, three, stands on that guy. I'm going to move that guy down. Bip, he goes there. And then he's going to hey Arnold this guy. Sophie, <laughs> uh, so LAMO, RIP boat driver guy, person. Does mm -hmm. so anybody know how to drive this thing? I can't um, see him over the wheel. <laughs> No, I'm assuming that was you that wrote that in the... There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, he walks up, swings his great sword. And then, that's that. Uh, this guy's now, uh, like, smacked uh, by Arnold's great sword. It's a bit of a paladin party over here. A paladin pirate party. Wood, wood. Yup, yup, yup. And are ya? Dagger falls to ground. Yep, yep. What be your plan? So just check the one next to me is dead. I don't have to. Worry this about one it, is right? gone. This one is gone. Okay. This one is gone. This one is gone. Cool, cool, cool. Um, where's Reed? You can't see him, but oh, he's on either okay, side of the right, mask. Yeah, I just realised. Yeah, so I can uh, Yeah, no, I thought I'd still be able to like see his token. Um, right. Okay. No worries. I said, can I just maybe suggest something? <laughs> can you? Can you just maybe go after those guys? Because I think Reach can one on one that guy pretty. All right. I should be able to I'd expect. Yeah. Um. So if yeah. we focus on getting those two guys deaded, I can then grapple yeah. this son of a person. I can I can try to like 
The the plan was to try to pew pew at one of them. So that was exactly my point of excellent. Say, say, my, say, say, my was going to be my action, but oh well, yeah. <laughs> send your wee bird friend. Peck his eyes out. No, I don't know how much damage these deal, and we've just made friends with this thing, and it's tiny and wee, and you <laughs> oh, know, right, you know right. how you're with any new thing that you buy, you're like super overprotective with it, mm -hmm. and you know that sort of thing. That's me with my bird. It doesn't now, even so. have a name yet. Let her name it first I before know. we kill it. I know, I know. You, you said you made friends with a bird thing. I'm expecting like Kevin from Up Size Bird. <laughs> Maybe not. More like Kez from Kez. Right, okay, so what are we doing? Are so you? the plan is to do it. <laughs> okay, pure pure away. It's not that Oh, so Scott, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I was the GM when we left off. Nah, you're you're you were you were taking a sabbatical. Merely a tribute. Hey, <laughs> mm. uh, which one we're gonna go for? The top one or the bottom one? The top one, yeah. I was cool. trying to find the way to. Yeah, word that. Yeah, it's fine. We've got there. I know some people don't like the rulers, but sometimes it is better just to point at things because I do quite like that instead of the ping. I think the ping isn't as useful. But cool. Well. Yeah, you can roll your your bow, eh? Yeah, that hits. Oops, sorry, I had to book it, but yeah. It's okay, it's the six anyway, so... Yeah. Cool. Nice. Into the guy's shoulder, he looks less than happy. Yes, yes. <laughs> nice. Um, move, bonus, anything like that. Mark down arrows, of course. I will, yeah, there's, there's no... I don't want to move. Okay, that's fine, yep. I'm okay. Uh, any bonus action you want to do? No. Yes, no, maybe. I think I'm okay. I mean, there's nothing in particular I want to do right now. Probably after this I might heal myself a bit, but yeah. I mean, Kitty is in a worse position than you, health-wise. But, but that's okay. Oh, shit, yeah, she is. It's only if... Um, that would have been something you'd have noticed. You know, as Arya, would you have been too focused on the fact that a guy stabbed you with an ar like a, a throwing dagger? Um, probably. And then you saw two paladins rush him, so you went, right, cool. Who who next? Yeah. Guy's up up top. Um, so it's up to you if you think you'd have noticed the fact that she's been stabbed in the gullet with a scimitar. I'm sure in the TV show version of this would have had that nice sweeping circular, uh, you know, what do you call it? Avenger style action shot where we've got like Reach uh, running upstairs after knocking some guy off the side um, <laughs> Kitty having hand crossbow people like both Crumbar like smacking things, lightning bolts going everywhere and like thunder waves crashing people's faces in. Yeah. Sounds like, the, sounds like the music video to a metal band. Yeah. <laughs> At the Keepers of the Golden Gate. The metal band. <laughs> Well, this can be a bonus action, so I could use one up. I could use the bonus action and use healing word. So if you want to, yeah. Adrian, we need to work on a a, a theme a theme song for this. <laughs> oh goodness. Maybe not. <laughs> sea shanty. Sea shanty. Metal season. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's focus on where we are, and let's decide if we're going to use the spell or not. Yep. Cool. Heal for seven, Kitty. Heal for seven, yay! Mark a yep, spell yep, slot yep. down for me, Arya. I will, yeah. Perfect. And Arya is out of things. Key, Pirate Captanos. I get told you this. every time he'll, uh, his name will change. <laughs> yeah. Right, you. I'm okay with that, bro. I, for I forgive. <laughs> okay. So, attack one. On the paladin who hit him. That's one attack. Uh, can you all see each other's health? Is that something I made happen, or can you only see your own yeah. health? I can no, only I see, see the bar. I can't see the numbers. But you can all see each other's. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you make it so that we can see the numbers? No, I don't want to. Um, you oh, can just tell each no. other numbers. Uh, it's mostly so I can. Can you see Arnold's now? No. no. 
Hey Arnold, what's your help? I'm not going to make it anyway here, but... Um, <laughs> let's see. He's there. Ah, oh, that's why, because I didn't change his goddamn name there. Right, that's fine. Save changes. And then let's go back and edit that. Uh, where are we? It is bar bar one, not bar three. Bar one. Save. You see it now? Yeah, yes. I can see it now. Yeah. Good. Right, let's go. Just because he's an ally, right? So. No, we know he's an ally. That's how you could have done it from the beginning. I know, right? I mean, I'd, I mean, I'd, I, I was going. I was going to attack him next, right? I'm, I mean. I mean, yes, you can still try. Um, right, cool. That was attack one. Next one's against you, Grumber. Oof. Take nine damage. That is actually a really pitiful crit, so do, that's not bad. So nine damage, so I'm at 19, yeah? <laughs> what is your health total? 20. I've just dropped to 11. I was just being funny. I mean, sure, if you say so. And then he's going to stab you with a dagger. No, oh, Monty! So four on top of that. Aye. Uh, uh. Can we start killing them? And now you've seen a fully operational Capitano Bandito Piratos. It's like he's evolving with the names. Right, cool. This isn't even his final form. This might be the actual <laughs> final form. <laughs> this might be it. Uh, and then he is going to stay where he is because screw moving and getting all those attacks. Although actually he can go VIP without incurring any attacks and now he engages a... Uh... Oh yeah, nicely done. He seems to have a taste for her blood. Anyway, it is Kitty Le Kill, who is slightly yeah. less la dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm within firing range, am I, of this dude? Uh, what type of weapon are you using? Me, uh, the answer is, uh, you tell me, what's the range on it? Oh, um, I don't know, how would I find that out? Uh, let's see. No, nope. wrong thing. The actual item itself, so you probably need to enter the inventory, I think. Uh, it's a 30, 120, so yeah. If he was 30, was he? Yeah, so he's, he's 30 from that square, so shall I just move over one? Uh, well, put it this way, if you don't, you're rolling at disadvantage. Yeah. So I will just take a, I'll take a couple of steps over. Yeah, cool. And then that saves me having to do any form of uh, trigonometry. Yeah. Cool. Yep. You walk over. Opa! Uh, that hits, and that is damage. I think this hits the guy's neck, this one, so the one in the shoulder, and then this one hits him with his neck, and it's like the blood's coming down, but he's, he just grits his teeth, and it's like it hoists up his crossbow a bit higher, so he's holding on to it. So yeah, uh, you still got some move, you got bonus actions, etc, etc, etc. And mark off a bolt, of course, as well. So you've used 10. Oh, yeah. Right. You still have more. Yeah. Wait, I can fire again. No, you've got. You can move more if you wanted. Oh, oh um, hmm. I think I'm okay where I am. Yeah, sure. And no bonus actions or anything, though. Uh, uh no, because I can't hide. I can only dash or disengage, and I'm not near anyone to disengage. Okay. And. Uh, do you think I can hide? Nah, not yet. No. So. You may be in a way better uh, position to hide, sadly. Yeah. So uh, that's my enter. Okay. Eric. The alive. The alive. Of most, in fact. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm like, I'm assuming I haven't got my crossbow with me because I would have left that downstairs and would not have walked upstairs onto a boat with it. Depends so. if you're on the on top of the boat yourself, would you have felt safe enough? I mean, if you don't I mean, think you would have, then no, you don't have it. If you I, think I there's a chance at it, it, if you think there's a chance that you might have, we can roll. I mean, how many days we've been on this boat and we've not been attacked? I yeah. reckon Eric would have felt safe enough, so I don't think it's plausible. I would. Yeah, it makes sense, um, yeah, it works for me. Actually, well, Dorma, you're not firing your witch bolt 
What do you it, believe there, anyway? No, it's he's like talking about a crossbow. He's talking about right. a, a crossbow, not a. I but. Why well, missed? But, but that, yeah, missed. Like, it's a spell though, not keep carrying on. Only if you hit. Yeah, I'm gonna hit first. Cool. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, with that in mind, I don't think I'd even have my hammer on me if we could only have a dagger. So. Hmm. This like this guy is fairly injured, right? Yeah, he look. I mean, blood's coming from his neck. That's not ideal. And this guy's healthy, you know, like full HP. Looks fine. Looks guy like. Cool. I wish to move here. I'm hoping this will give me some sort of like cover from this guy if he decides to shoot. Is that right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, like the matter. I'll move there anyway. So if you move there, like if you move here, definitely. Ah, yeah, okay. I'll move there then. That's 10 feet. That's fine. Yeah. Do you feel lucky, Pong? So, like, now you can't draw a line of sight on you. And now I'm going to. Use my last spell slot to witch bolt that boy, yeah. Or that guy. Um, or that guy. I like it. Kumbar's in a way that I don't want to hit him. There's a golden or a paladin ne nearby. I'm scared. I just missed with my witch bolt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's just taken his turn. There's three people engaged with him. I do like, love the visual though, is you shooting lightning wide, right? And then Kumbar just punching your shoulder and going Rrr! and then running up and smacking them with that hammer like he did and then the golden order paladin running in the side and being like that's how we fight the guy right okay <laughs> hammers and swords everywhere with this guy like scimitaring and daggering every day right cool so I'm, I'm gonna uh, witch bolt him bolt, this bolt. yeah cool what did you roll let me go back to that page I, I believe we might be in luck. Let's see. Yeah, that is. Cool. Now they have all damage. Mm -hmm. nice. nice. And the spells concentrated on him and whatnot. So, Pip the mind symbol. Remember how to do that? Remember which one it was? Come on. There we go. Perfect. Cool, and you're concentrating on the witch bolt. Witch bolt, that bolt. Cool. Uh, when bolt? Anything else? You've only no, used I'm 10 feet of movement, so you've got like... Uh, I'm chill hiding here. Not want to do some kind of cool badass Sith walk towards them while shooting lightning? No. Um, no. I feel like if I get closer, he might just swing at me. No, but no. Maybe. Maybe. You ready? Yeah. Done. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. It was a nice use of your last spell slot as well, to be honest. Actually, connecting it was pretty awesome. Uh, right. We have here Bandito. Yeah, let's go for the bloody one, shall we? Um, yeah. No. I think we all know why he missed. He's yes. preoccupied holding his blood inside him. Uh, right. That guy is going to just walk this way and then have a go at reach. That does not hit you, does it? The 13 does not. I'm sure it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Nah, cause it doesn't. You don't ha you don't wear armor, so it's not a thing no. that we have to worry about for you. It's just your wisdom and dexterity. Cool. So, like the guy, like I mean, describe what happens. This guy runs at you with his scimitar. Well, I've been running at him, and he's been running at me. So I just kind of sidestep as he scimitar comes straight down. Yeah, one of those proper like slow motion slight side steps as he swings down straight overhead. Yeah. Aye, good. And then the camera just speeds speeds back up to normal speed. And then the guy being electro zapped is probably going to try and shoot at his electro zapper. So let's have a, a wee crossbow bolt at Eric. 
exactly what I needed. Pwah. Right, so take four damage and then make a con save. Yeah, no worries at all. You manage to maintain your uh, an angry face. Yeah, so you, you but you maintain your concentration because the the check was a ten or the damage taken if it's higher. Right, and let's see. We're on reach, I believe. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, I am, yeah, quarter staff again. This guy who I'm right beside him. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, two handed again. Man. Please, no way. No. no, I bet you I need to. Okay, so I do still get a unarmed strike. Good. Right, so, obviously, miss for the uh, core stuff. Uh, he might have ducked or something like that. So, elbow him when I'm kind of spinning around with the core stuff and hit him. So, unarmed. Please, yay. So, do you get the extra? I do, even though I miss it, just as long as I attack. When you use the attack action with an yeah, unarmed exactly. strike or monk yep. weapon. So, yeah. I did double check that because I wasn't sure. I thought I'd lost it. I, I, I just clicked that apparently for no reason. You go click it because that hits. Yeah, yeah I'd rather take yours, but okay. But <laughs> I don't even know why I clicked that. It was just habit. <laughs> right, yo. Also, guys, the reason I said that in the chat is because you are constantly making beeps on my side, which is on the recording. No, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> focus. Focus on combat. Focus. F. For focus. Uh, oh, okay. Anything oh, else? Oh, <laughs> respect. No, I was, but also F for focus. So, reach. <laughs> anything else? Uh, um, I'm just going to go around him to there, so I'm not losing his. Yeah, you you won't leave his threat if you do that. Yeah. So you can like yeah. awkwardly clamber over that. Uh, Anchor oh, I'm kind of spinning around him as I'm uh, hitting, uh, mess with the quarter staff, hitting with him elbow, and I'm just keep going around him as I'm rotating, <laughs> doing all those blows, right? And then you're not there. Not at all. Not at all. It's actually probably quite graceful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> probably very graceful. You got them half elven nimble bastards. <laughs> <laughs> right, yo, Crumba, Crumba Dinabuk. Hello. See. You Imagine that was Crumba's voice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was cursed. Somewhere between Graham Norton and Julian Cleary <laughs> <laughs> is Crumbar <laughs> Denebic. <laughs> uh, that would be intimidating. Oh, oh I've God. totally got an idea what to do for next time. Um, so, like, Crumbar's there. He's in a, like a kind of melee fight between two. A uh, like, you've got the paladin with the great sword, Crumbar with the hammer. You've got this guy with his scimitar and his dagger in one hand each, and then See? you've got like lightning from behind you. Arrow bolts flying everywhere. See when the captain attacked me with his scimitar, where did it hit me? Hmm. Like in the U part of you. Yeah, in the U part of you. <laughs> yeah, it's all nebulous until you die. So it's On my persons. Yeah. Hit it hit you. It went for like you. You're a big guy. There's a lot of you to hit. Yeah, I was just looking for a specific location where he hit. I mean, I don't know, roll a d12. Uh, just the one, yeah? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many parts of the body have you counted now? Right, so... I need to recount because it's stupid me off. 1, 2, 3... <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, it'll be your right leg. Upper leg. Ah. Okay, so... That's where you did, like, probably the most damage. Yeah. It's an odd number you're missing. I wonder what that is. Yeah, I have not. You don't want to know. Upper lower leg, lower upper arm, body, upper lower body, head, and there's one more. So... Okay. 
after being hit in the leg, I looked down and just kind of gripped my teeth, mm -hmm. realizing that I've taken quite a bit of damage. Reached to my crumbar utility belt and tan back. <laughs> tan back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tan back a potion of healing. Um, how is it that you use them again? You just take an action to use one. So remember, they've got stats. Yeah. Do you just click on the potion of healing? Could I mean, you try it. Just heal yourself normally, magically. Yeah. You could. I could, but I've got potions, so... Yeah. I've already got three, but you'll know that because, in fact, well, you know that because of the recording? Yeah. Probably not. It wasn't on the recording. But, yeah. like, uh, still rolled. I, I, I was going to use Lay on Hands, but then I was like, oh, I've got four healing potions. Yeah, I've already got yeah. three additional ones from the, the armory. Uh, yeah, I can't work out how to use these again. I can't remember. So, remember there's pin posts? Uh, no. I don't know where we put them though. Actually, it is. It's in it. It says you regain 2d4 plus 2 hit points when you drink this potion. That's accurate. If you just see the item, if you hover yeah. over the item, you get a wee dot appearing on the right. Oh, the right. Dot. Yeah. Um... And that is right. That's... So you regenerate 2d4 plus 2 when you drink. Uh, so. So, forward mm -hmm. so slash R space. So roll 2d4 plus 2, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 2d4 plus 2, roll. And I regain 7 HP. There you go, it's alright. That, that correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, so 7 is 7 is 14. And then, maybe you don't have to do that math, you can literally just type into your token. Plus 7. Yeah. Oh, can you actually? Yeah, so click in your red box, plus seven, enter. Man, that's going to make life a million times easier. Especially a guy who's likely to be hit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe um, not. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Right, so make sure you've got three of them left now. Make sure you've marked oh, yeah. down quantities. Uh, you've used a potion. I just closed down my character sheet. Uh, I'd be right in saying that that has used up my action. Action, yep. So I have only my movement left. Yep. Um, I use my movement to do a little kind of, you know, like when you see like runners before they go for like a race and they kind of do that way, like do 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 do, shaky about thing. I just kind of shake off my injuries after taking tan in that potion. So like a Bruce Lee hop between your feet. Yeah, that kind of like cool. Arnold's going to make a swing. <laughs> hmm? Arnold's going to make a swing. Yeah, I, I, I would, but I have no action. That's fine. Arnold's here. I felt I felt like I had to... For pois. Right, and ending turn. Arnold misses. Arnold's disappointed. Oh. You're too busy you know watching your jig. Was. You know why that was? He was watching your jig, that's why. No, it's because <laughs> he, he used a greatsword instead of a hammer. Are you? So with his Arya. <laughs> Have we lost her? I think we've lost Arya. I think we have. Can you hear us at all, Arya? Type in chat or anything? Should maybe see for people at home. She isn't actually at home, so she's on. For the people at home or abroad. Arya is not at home. She is abroad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I carried my laptop with me simply so I can play D&D. &D. And we all, it. It. We, all, we, yeah. we all appreciate it. We all appreciate it. I'm not sure what happened there. It just, I think maybe my connection... That's okay. Through You're back. I you jumped out and then rolled 20 as well. I am so back, okay. thank you. Yep, let's capitalize on the fact that we have her. What would you like to do for your turn? Well, am I right in assuming that the guy is not in a happy place right now? Oh, he's between three of you. Yep. And, um... But he looks okay about it. Hmm, okay. He's, he's between a crumb bar and a hard place. Who knows Arnold? I was going to say it's Arnold, that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just a bit... 
wavering, wavering in between healing myself and just joining in. I think it might be a bit overkill if three of us attack him, so I might just heal myself. I mean, you've got your bow. You could shoot at him with disadvantage and still heal yourself. Or you could just drink a potion. Oh yeah, wait a second, because it's a bonus action. I keep forgetting that that's a bonus action. Yep, but it is a spell slot. Yes. Versus the potion just being an action. Yeah, I will shoot at him. Right, so with disadvantage then. Pow pow. Pow pow. The reason for that is just because you're engaged, that's why. One moment. That it did, but it didn't, if that makes sense. Yeah, I know what you mean, yep. yeah. Cool. Um, you still got your bonus action if you want to heal yourself? Absolutely. Moving to one slot to me. Cool, and you heal yourself for six. Nicely done. Cool, cool. Right. I, I assume you're not going to move anywhere. No. Um, I'm struggling to heal myself. It's not letting me select my token as it did previously. I think it's because you've got... Yeah, you're in the wrong thing. You need to click on... You're actually going to draw two. Okay, cool. Do you want me to add the health on for you? I think I finally figured. I'm sorting it. Okay, cool. Are you going to move anywhere or are you going to stay put? No, no. Staying, staying put. Cool. Yeah. Bandit Captain. Um, As you shoot your bow at him, obviously, like he spins around just in time to like like smack the bow with the dagger so the shot goes wide and obviously then you say whatever your healing word is like Jesus and then obviously your magic takes effect and heals you and he just leans okay. in to stab with his uh, with his scimitar <laughs> with his stabby thing he does not that is a really bad roll that is not ideal he's going to then have a go at Crumbar with his other attack that hits Crumbar I believe it does. Uh, four pois. Crumbar take four. Yeah. And then his, many clicking. his dagger is going to go on Arnold, why not? Let's just have him fight every day. Uh, that hits Arnold for four. Cool. Uh, that's him done. Kitty. Nearly. So I am going to get attack. That dude. Top boy? Yeah, cool. top boy. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's not stop. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Just a wee bit. I didn't need you to roll. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Just between the eyes. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for my next <laughs> trick. <laughs> Thanks for adding up, but I didn't want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> We're all that guy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move down to here. Oh. Is it all right? Uh, you'll end Ooh. up going past the captain guy. Well, then I will. Uh, I can't remember how it is to do the. Hey, right click when you're holding on to it. Ah, uh, okay. Then I will do that. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Yep. You can move there. Okay. No bother. No bother. Super. And that ends my move. Cool. Well, I should have to take a side step. You're gonna go there, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then... Eric. 
I'm going to continue zapping this boy. I figured you might be. Yes. Um, Pikachu, go! <laughs> Is it just damaged now or does he need to... Oh my god, one. I tickled him. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Well, he, turn, turn, down. he continues to look like he's under a strobe light. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do you want to move anywhere or...? Uh, <laughs> Moonlight, that's it. <laughs> Moonlight. If I moved and hid from, from him... Like yeah, that, it would break line of sight and break your concentration yeah, and break the yeah. spell. Yeah. i move here. No, don't move there. Do you realize what's moving? And what range is your spell as well? Oh, yeah. What? I think it's 30. Actually, I actually don't know what it is. I'll need to look that up. Yeah, it's 30. Oh, wait, no. It is, it's 30. Yeah, okay. I'll still I'll look at the wrong spell, but it's still 30. Um. Yeah, so basically, if you have total cover or you move beyond its range, the spell ends. I'll see it. There's like no reason to move at the minute. Nope, you're still just zapping him up there. Yes. Cool. Uh, right. Bandits then. Reach your dance partner. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna make a move. I'm really hoping I can hit him this time with my core stuff and get this over and done with. So, right. Oh no, I forgot he hits me first. Yeah. He actually does hit this time. Two. Two of your finest of damages. <laughs> this is the, the the most efficient you have ever been in a fight. <laughs> well, you're still up though on most well, of your health. Um, uh, that's that guy's turn. Next guy is the guy being zapdosed. Uh, he's gonna light crossbow the guy electrocuting him. Well, that's a hit. Oof. That's six Oof. damages. <laughs> Quite a decent hit. And then roll your con save. Before I turn into Matt Berry. <laughs> <laughs> roll your con save. That's enough. Then. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Well done. Is that like, the dude off the IT crowd? Yeah. 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 Father. The, yeah, that's the one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're being. Um, have you, have you ever seen his wild blood video? Yes, I have. No. You're being <laughs> shot with two crossbow bolts and you're still holding this electricity up. So after your faux pas earlier with your wide shot, you're really, really focused on this guy. <laughs> you hit me with crossbow, the anger is uh, surging. <laughs> Definitely. We're probably seeing like little bits of the electricity sparking between the two bolts as well, the ends of them, as it mm. creeps all over you. Uh, nicely done. Reach, it is indeed your go now. Good, right. Quarter stuff the guy I'm right beside. I figured, yeah. yeah. Do, do, do. No way! Right. Um, You're just saying to the guy, this is a quarter staff. Yeah. <laughs> you Look like at my it. stick! <laughs> <laughs> Run into this really fast, please. <laughs> 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 to be fair, though, right, you have made an agreement with the dice gods that. Nobody hits you that well, and you don't hit them that well. <laughs> As opposed to everybody crits. I just like to think he's dancing there on the spot and mm -hmm. not actually doing anything. Well, to be fair, they're, they're both in that BBC One kind of like segment that used to have the two people practicing martial arts while dodging each other. <laughs> There's a random reference for everybody. <laughs> uh, you going to do your extra attack? or? Yeah, I'm just yeah. Yeah, no, extra attack. I was just double checking for Oh. That hits. Alright. This is a quarter staff. Punch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you have that unarmed strike. <laughs> That's a distraction technique, you know, like, yeah. look at my fine weapon! But I like the idea that, like, you know, you do that I thing where you, like, wrap it around your neck, swing out wide to the left or something with it, the guy ducks, and as soon as he looks up, you just uppercut him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, that guy's gone. Nice. Uh, you've got your whole movement. Run now. How do we think we are for the guy in the far? Uh, Eric, have you got that? I've got this guy. Honest. Right. <laughs> Eric, have you got that? Eric's full of lightning bolts and bolts of lightning <laughs> and bolts in general. <laughs> it's my response would be <laughs> unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. But I can get there no matter how you're going to add yeah. up the movement. Yeah. Yeah. 
Øh, <laughs> Anders Smi... Øh, bare... Øh... Ja, Anders Smi... Ja, yep. kan du... Ja, cool. Det er Wales, ja. Chrome by Dannebøk! Come on down! Show us your might! Well, Saka getting... Shanked by this guy. Yeah, this guy's nasty. He nasty. In a wide sweeping motion, I always knew swing was my weird. hammer towards his torso. Hey. Right. Uh, right, cool. He's gonna use his move called parry as a reaction. He's gonna add two to his AC to not be hit by that. Oh, no, he's got 15 AC. Rip. Great. And <laughs> I can't do anything else. Oh. So I think what happens is like you like double hander this guy and like he just yeah. holds up his scimitar above his head because he's been fighting the three people around about him at this point and it just clanks off of it and he turns around and yeah. grins his gold teeth at you. And I'm just kind of like, what? Like how? Like, but my weapon's bigger than yours. That's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a wee bit confused. Yeah, it makes sense. This guy is obviously designed to be nasty, though. Uh, right, Arnold, he's gonna make a, he's, well, he's gonna do his best. <laughs> oh, I was looking for a question mark to put over my head. Uh, he hits. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's see. The good thing is, you look meant that when he was blocking with a scimitar above his head as your hammer was smacking into that. Arnold just swung into the chest of this guy. Which is and nice. Fucking teamwork. Yep, you are doing your paladin bros. And technically the third paladin in the ship has showed up to the fight now. Because uh, oh, yeah. Reach is a paladin of the Golden Order. <laughs> well, just not uh, a paladin of the Golden Order. <laughs> Just, uh, just a reminder that we are to keep this captain alive so I can interrogate him. Just a reminder everybody on the team that we're here to keep the captain alive. Over. I've, I've totally, totally not already typed out what I'm going to do to interrogate him. That's fine. We'll see if it even works. Uh, right, okay. Are you? So, this guy's not starting to look well right now, is he? He looks alright. He's holding his own. And he's now against four okay. of you. Maybe five, depending on Kitty's... ...ponchance. Intentions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could try to, like, pew-pew at him. I just worry that if I hit him, I might kill him. Sort of well, thing. I think Ryan said that if you do a hit that's going to kill him, you can see it was... Uh, An arrow is harder to justify that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a melee hit that you can kind of like bludgeon them with, really. Yeah. At the moment, though, I think he's got loads of hit points there, anyway. As I said, he looks like he's holding his own. Yeah. yeah. I'll pew pew, so at disadvantage because I'm that close, is that how it works? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> In theory, you could, because you haven't moved yet, so you could free action drop your bow, part of your move, pick up your sword, and stab him without disadvantage. I like that. Give that a go if you want. Yes. Yeah. I like the idea that you just ha you bring your inventory at your feet wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> My pile of stuff is here now. I stand here. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, we are quite. Um, I put this. We are. We are quite. Um, I'm gonna just pep him as well because he's used his reaction. Go for it. Like we have to make sure oh, actually, no, too close it's actually on your turn, sorry. Sorry, it hasn't. It's on your round. Scimitar of 10, no, that isn't it, sadly. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, are you going to move anywhere? Or bonus action? Happy we are, cool, cool. Now we're okay. Okay, Senor Pirate Captain Bendito. Uh, again, a new name. Right, so you went to stab at him, so yep, you've probably got his ire. So, for pois, he is crap. 
these are clashing scimitars now. Um, as he's doing that, he uh, winks at you and then spins his dagger around the other way in his hand and stabs backwards towards uh, Crumbar. Of course he hits Crumbar. Crumbar wasn't expecting it. It was super effective. Four damage, Crumbar. Four damage isn't effective. Yeah. And then he, he does a wee nice wee pirouette uh, and then just... What's he likely to do? He's probably going to go for... Yeah, probably... Oh man, that's disgusting. Um, this is on... What's his face, Arnold? Just so you know. It's disgusting. It is. It's payback for his move. Mm -hmm. Yep. Arnold does not look... like Ar Arnold's starting to look a bit beat up now by this. Lots of cuts actually staying this time. Uh, but that is him done. Right, uh, Kitty. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna flop this dude up there mm -hmm. with my hand crossbow. Hmm. Yep. 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 Yeah, I keep doing it from the square in front, don't I? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, yeah, he's gone. He gone. In the eye socket. For pwa. Pwa. Uh, I am going to... Um, I'm going to take a side step. Uh, oop, go there. Because then that means line of sight is, you know, I'm not going to shoot anyone. Uh, you don't actually worry about that, where you were anyway. Oh. That's not a thing that you worry about. Oh, I'm, I'm there now, so... No, it, it, would be, it would be different, see if you're using like a lane attack, like a wall of fire or something. Ah, then okay. it would matter. But yeah, so yeah, you can move there anyway, that's fine. And Eric. Your lightning like sparks off a bit against the banister and stuff and peters out. Hmm. Let's grapple this fuck. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere near that guy with my HP cheats. Oh, doing. yeah, I completely forgot, you're like... Yeah. He's got like crossbow bolts sticking out like each shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Lightning sparking off of him, like, I am very, very tired right now. <laughs> I've got no spell slots left as well. All I have is my dagger. you probably got all those cracks of blue all over you as well right now. Not yet. I've not used any spell. Uh, oh yeah, any, um, your, your sorcery. sorcery. Your sorcery points. Your saucy sorcery points. <laughs> I mean... Hmm. I kind of do want to hit him with Witch Bolt, but I don't want to kill him. Could Witch Bolt not be non-critical? Uh, non-lethal, sorry. I mean... I have something called Shock and Grasp. But that only pre prevents any sort of reaction attack. Can I see what the official rules of non-lethal damage are? Regarding non-lethal damage. Let's I mean, see. I'm trying to just work out the best way to kind of take this guy. Anyway, um... <laughs> a character, so an attack made well in rage cannot be specified as non-lethal. That makes sense. <laughs> wow. I mean, does magic count as non-lethal? It's definitely it's not. I wouldn't call it in rage magic. It's no. not available if it's a ranged or spell attack. Right. Ah. So it's only a melee attack. A melee weapon attack or a melee spell attack? Uh, a melee spell attack is still a spell attack. Yeah. Well, so it's still a melee attack. No, it's all different. <laughs> I might just like slump, slump against this uh, mask that I'm on, tired, and uh, drink healing. Mm -hmm. I'll move up to it, obviously. Uh, where's my healer potion? How does one use? Uh, I need to roll a 2d4 plus 2. Yep, yep. If it's drinking a potion. How does one put that through? So, forward slash in the chat, yeah. right? R space. 2d4 plus 2. I uh, went from the space. Oh, 
business. Heal yourselves. Cool. Cool. Any bonus actions or? No, I'm just gonna be like, good luck, guys. I'm done. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm you could, you, your sorcery points can buy spell slots. Remember. Yeah, but I don't want to murder the guy. I mean, like, yeah, I'll I'll spend my two sorcery points to get myself a spell slot back, just in case it goes south. It's up to you. It's just something you can do. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do it. Yep, do it, do it now. So now this is where the blue crack starts forming. Yeah, so like, like you drink that potion, chuck it to the side, then just like clench your fists. All these blue lines appear all over you. Then you feel re recharged, you could say. It's uh, my turn ended. Cool. Uh, these guys I don't think exist anymore, so. Reach. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, those guys don't exist, so <laughs> that's where all those bodies are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick to unarmed to attack. I've got more chance of hitting, so and hit the captain, right? As, so so you're going to drop your, or just stuff, or yeah. just punch essentially with your other hand, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Don't need to drop it for that thing. Uh, yeah, that hits. Good point. Four. Right, two um, seconds. Let me just do this. So, minus four. Right, keep going. What's next? Same. Exact same again. Just cool. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Look, you obviously are just warming up on that guy upstairs. Cool. Now we're cooking with reach. Cool. <laughs> so it's like you ducking and diving and punching and punching mostly. Yeah. And I'm just staying with arm. Um, yeah. Uh, if that's you, then Grumbar Dunderbrook. Right, so I want to take this guy hostage, so how do I go about grappling him? Mm. Um, in fact, can I inspect him first? Or would that take up an action? Like, what do you mean inspect him? Talk to me well, more about this. <laughs> what I want to do is look, inspect him to see if he looks weakened. So that way, obviously, I'd have more of a chance of... Like he's him. taken damage, right? You can yeah. you've all been laying into the guy. But he's still yeah. holding his own against currently four of you. Soon to be very very soon, six of you. <laughs> right. So I reckon I could do one. Like he's he's not like in peak condition by far, but he's mm. ate it. He's still It's not like the guy upstairs holding his goddamn neck with blood coming out of it because of a <laughs> you know, kitty led you know, fucking kitty la bolt. Yeah, <laughs> kitty la killed. Yeah, <laughs> uh, kitty la owned. Um. So, what's the plan, Grumba? You hear the great words of Odyssey in your head, Grumba. Why are you in my office? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for the restroom. <laughs> um. I think we established that you both hadn't met him sadly before. Trying to think of the best kind of action to take. Guy. I don't know, yeah. like, I mean, it's up to you. Keep in mind, you can always do, like, if your melee hit kills him, you can then decide it was non lethal. After deep consideration. Crumbar is the most it. thoughtful the combatant ever. <laughs> Crumbar decides. To I decide to. I decide to swing my hammer at his kneecaps. It does hit, in fact, his kneecaps. And it does eight damage to said kneecaps. Respectable damage to the kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> effort to do that. He goes to swing down with like both the dagger and the scimitar to try and get it, but he, like they just kind of clank after the hit. Alas. So, uh, Arnold. He's going to do his thing. Where's Arnold's thing? Fwa! Hmm, Arnold's not so good at doing the thing. His thing. What's this matter. guy's AC? 15. And then. Arya! Oh, goodbye. Oh. 
<laughs> As if by magic. Go on. Not. Return to us, ah, your bluebird. <laughs> Someone cast a magic lasso. <laughs> or a lasso. I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I like adding an extra O on to the end of it. A lasso. Um, oh, she's it's the AFK chat. It's, it's mm. happened before. Uh, welcome back. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, you scimitar him, you miss, unfortunately. You're not doing so good with the old scimitar. Yeah. It's because, it's like, you know... Your healing rolls are good, it, it, your damaging rolls are not. Yeah. Clearly, the moon goddess is a, in a yeah, healing not, mood. Not, not with this, yeah. Not not with me on this, because it's because it's, it's a very unfair fight. I mean, look how many of us it's on him. Like, nature doesn't like that. There's no balance. Yeah, I was going to say, this is the dead deer being mauled by a bunch of lions at this point. It's already dead. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, anything else you want to do in your turn? This is the dead of night, right? Like, they attacked us during the night. It was like, like I think it was, was it not early, early morning? Like, nightish morning? Oh, okay. Sure. We were just being very... It's dark, um, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's dark, so... That would be good okay. Um... You know what? I'll be nice. And I will toss a healing spell towards Crumbar. Oh, Even though that you. means I've used all my spots today. Okay, okay. So, moving this to zero spots remaining. Part of me wishes it did it automatically when you click the button, but... Oh, okay. No, I just wish it did. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, it should. Yeah, I wish it would. Grumba, heal yourself. Okay. That's considerable healings. Uh, so seven, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. As I said, the moon goddess is definitely keep your friend alive. Stop jumping on the poor guy alone. His kneecaps yes. can't shake it. Stop, stop <laughs> it. He's already dead. <laughs> right, and that will be me. I see no reason to. Yeah. He <coughs> is going to do his usual. And try and work out who hit him last time. So he's going to make a scimitar attack against Reach because Reach has annoyed him. Eight. Dear gods. Those dodge actions in hindsight, eh? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then, after seeing how um, delectable the damage was there, he's going to make a a dagger attack against you as well. Thank he's you. not gonna hit though. <laughs> no, he's not cool. You deflect that nicely and then he's gonna make his last uh, scimitar attack against... gonna roll a d3 for the other guys because it's really open as to what who would attack at this point so are ya? And oh. pa. Six damage. That's not too bad. Oh um, yeah. Okay. It's not too bad. Um, probably because you're healing the big orc that keeps smacking with a hammer, though. <laughs> <laughs> but smacking things with hammers is what I do best. Uh, he is now out of things. Yeah, but he doesn't appreciate that. Yeah. Some people don't appreciate fine art. <laughs> Kitty? Well, okay, so I think the it's obvious what's going to happen. I'm, uh, Jump off the boat, yeah. Yeah. For pa, that dude. <laughs> For pa. For pa. Oof. Nice. Smack him in the shoulder or the arm or the leg or the thigh. Aye. In the knee. Goddamn kneecaps. <laughs> Just one weak spot. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn? Or are you uh, nah, happy where you are? I'm good. I think that's pretty much it, yeah. I like the idea that we just like it cuts to you and you're like leaning against the boat and then you've got like the, the apple in one hand. You shoot from the hip with your hand crossbow. <laughs> take another bite of the apple. <laughs> Eric. I'm surprised she hasn't looted everyone by you now. So after that's considerable after. damage towards the pirate captain. Mm -hmm. 
like, is he still in his? Yeah, I'm alright. So I got so I You see Crumbar's muscular back. Right, okay. <laughs> I am very impressed. But My thinking... eyes are up here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see your eyes. My eyes are on the I'm other thinking. side of my body. <laughs> <laughs> if Crumbar stays incredibly still, he can render himself invisible. <laughs> <laughs> well, am I like a reverse T-Rex? No, it was more of a Drax. No, Drax. Yeah. Uh, Drax. Yeah. <laughs> Can I move here and then make the said observation? Uh, why don't you, you move there and we'll see. Or you might see. Right. Yeah, so you see a I'm fairly a it. fairly beat up, ganged up upon Bendito Capitano's Piratan. <laughs> I love how he's getting more and more Spanish <laughs> as he goes <laughs> You're right. I'm going to say that it's not feasible taking this guy alive and uh, go to shoot him with lightning. My last spell slot. My last spell slot. <laughs> Your casting spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. And it'll be a witch bolt again. It'll be that bolt. It hits. A four. For four. For four. For four. For four. Yeah, he starts to cook, obviously. <laughs> now, this guy's got his dagger in one hand, his scimitar now, he's got so many people, he's got six people fighting him. He's slowly being electrocuted now. And he's there, in the middle of it, smiling he's with his gold breath. teeth. <laughs> Does he not take extra damage since he's got gold teeth? Surely that will come up. You don't know if they're batteries or not. <laughs> <laughs> and reach. Blowing and yeah, two. I unarmed anyway. That, uh, yeah, it does yeah. There's some damage. How is he looking at the moment? How is he looking? He looks fucked. Like fucked. Right. As a technical term, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Do the same again on the uh, non-lethal damage, right? Just. I'll try this with Kibble. Actually, I'll do it. I'm spending a key point, right? So I'll get two more attacks. Right? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, zero. Right. That didn't work. Minus right. one, yeah. yeah. Non lethal. 23 hits again. <laughs> non lethal for 23. Yeah. <laughs> it's not damage, though, it's just attack, right? Cool. Right. Another five, and. He's already out. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Insult to injury. Yeah, I was just punching in the air, can you think of what I was getting into the room? Right <laughs> <laughs> Your starmy noise. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to roll damage and see what you're doing anyway? Well, I'm kind of curious as well, especially since I crit. Yeah, well, it was okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so eventually, this guy falls. Now, I need to ask this question right now. Are you going to... Is anyone going to not attack him? For example, what I mean by that is anyone going to attack them on their turn? Because I know Crumber wants to keep him alive. Yeah, I Ar am not going to attack him, obviously. Arnold, it's okay, your turn's done. So we're going to kind of cycle through. The Arnold's not going to attack. Are you? You're going to kill him? Or are you going to happily have him fall in the deck? Let's assume she's fine. That's just, yeah, there is a pluses and minuses. If we kill them, we get the XP. If we don't, we get the information. Maybe. We're still getting quite a bit of XP. Yeah. Plus, we might get more XP from interrogating on how we play it. Yeah, I'm just putting out what um, my, my kind of thoughts about that. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, keep in mind, there's no goal to get XP from him. No, there ain't, yeah. That's true. But I remember, I'm not going to arbitrarily assign social encounter XP now. Yeah. I want information. So, killing him or keeping him alive is the thing, right? So, I think every day is likely. So, Kitty, you're going to keep him alive? Going to shoot a wee cheeky bolt in? <laughs> I'll keep him alive. We uh, can do enough now. Thank you. Eric. I like. I am unsure. But you took us like an arm and a leg to nearly to kill this guy. He's dangerous. You, you also don't even have to do anything time. except just do damage. 
Yeah, I know. So. I'm gonna look at Grumba and go. Are you sure you you want you don't, to keep this guy? No, you don't have time. You need to decide right away because you need to either drop your spell or do the damage. So you don't I'll get drop the spell. Right. Okay. Cool. Now you can say to Crumbar. Crumbar. If he escapes, it's going to take us an arm and leg to get, get him down. Crumbar just you do gr grinningly looks you over. I grinningly look over. At, you oh, know, I can't yep. do it third person. That way. Right. Um, I look over. Um, at Eric in green, and he goes, trust me, this is what I do. <laughs> yeah, and put an end to threats is what I do. Okay. Well, if he doesn't talk, you can do it. You can put an end to him. You have my word. Cool, so you going to do anything on your turn there, Eric, with him? Or are you happy to leave it be? <laughs> I mean, I am fully exhausted. I've used every everything. Yeah. My character just kind of slouched down on one knee and just, just breathes. Just leaning against the rail. It's like, <laughs> I'm just trying to look cool, guys. That's kind of not because I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm down on one knee. Like, he doesn't care about looking cool. He's shattered. He's got scars all over him, glowing blue. He's like, Ooh. Okay. Uh, so... Obviously, something dramatic happens because of the time. Ah, half ten, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gosh darn it. Should have killed him. God. Did you just bring in a ship? Another ship? Uh, that shimmers into existence. And. Who's this bell end? He appears cackling, and all like the kind of like shimmering mirage-like heat effect that brings the ship into like visual, um, like shimmers from his hands. He puts his hands. I bet his chat does not even hear properly. He's just like some sort of spell thing. And then he uh, just kind of does like a a very kind of almost um, theater-like bow to everyone on the other ship, and then he flicks up his uh, wrists. Two daggers appear, and he just throws them, and they stab into the guy on the ground. Down the ground. Yes. Oh, oh. And we will end the session there, folks. Well, Damn! No interrogating them. Well, I'm just gonna go delete that document. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have killed him. Why I listen to the half orc? Right. Was it your torture schedule for them <laughs> or something? <laughs> so we're going to do the XP now, right? For the combat, so I don't miscalculate. But obviously, we're not leveling up or changing any of the stats. So I want to work out this just now. Give me a second. So I need. Let's see. Many of you are there. There is six in the fight. Oh, Arnold. Six in the fight. Yep. Does everybody want to add on? I'll just round it up because I'm nice. 150 to their totals. Okay. Rounding up. I'm nice. Six. Fit. So in theory, everyone's on the same total, then, so it's 650 all round, I think, then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Cool. Right, so we've done the. XP for that fight. The fight hasn't technically ended. Um, and then, yeah. So, let's do our cooldown. Then I'll move us over to the title page. I hope everybody enjoyed getting to flex their combat muscles. <laughs> Since. I mean, that's a long way you've come from fighting bats. Dream bats? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even fight the dream bats. I mean, you still might. Don't like that. Nah, I wouldn't either. Um, hey, did we get any experience from killing all them guys? 
Sorry, what? what sorry? Were you awake in the past five minutes? A hundred, a hundred. No. <laughs> I was right in today's <laughs> schedule torture. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm quite impressed by it. <laughs> Waterboarding at 1500. Water drip torture at 1600. <laughs> See if he talks, 1900. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like, you, you got XP for that. How much? That's the part I would definitely urge you to listen to when we're reading it out. 150. 150, Aye. okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Sorry. It's okay. Gem is considered one important bits. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and keep in mind, XP will be divided by those in the fight helping. So, if you have allies in the fight, you just get less XP because they're helping. Oh, we should have killed Arnold. God damn it. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but Arnold took a lot of damage and still stood his ground. He tanked a lot. Yeah. I was uh, worried for him early on, but he's got a lot of XP hit points. Maybe. Yeah. He's, um, he's a paladin. He's been around. Uh, right, so Eric. Yo. Your thoughts? I'm just happy the fact that I KO'd three dudes in one slap. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Imagine you'd use Thunder Wave as that free move I gave you at the start of the... The road, remember? Imagine. Huh. Imagine. So just to check, do I add 150 to my experience or less? Because we've all been like hitting this guy together. You add everything in. Like uh, I've told you, you add 150 to your total. So every day should be on 650, I believe. He's already done the arithmetic. That's why. Yeah. yeah, I've done the maths. Yeah. Remember that? I mean, I did the maths just after I said I was going to do it. Just then. Because <laughs> obviously, if Arnold had died during that, or Eric had died during that, XP would have been divided out differently. So we're sorted for that. Yeah, so, Eric, you were very pleased with your uh, your spell casting. You did pretty well. Obviously, you missed with one witch bolt, but your other two landed, which was good. Yeah. You got to use your sorcery points. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you did more magic than what you're supposed to do, so that's good. Um,. Just need social. a long rest now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that pirate dude won't like do anything even. Yeah, guys who make guys appear from nowhere and boats appear from nowhere, they're pushovers. <laughs> they're deckheads and <laughs> What about you, Arya? How do you, how do you feel about the game thus far? Uh, mostly this session. Well, there was a lot of fighting and I was not very good at it, but I'm quite sad about that. But you kept people alive during the fight. And yeah. I know, I know exactly. So I did, I did help, and you know, uh, I, I we did do some pretty cool stuff, like three in one go. That's pretty freaking fantastic. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm definitely. Party dynamics working out good. You're starting to learn what each other can do, where you should be in fights. It's good. Uh, what about you, Crumba? Um. I like that I got a jug. Just yeah, the golden craft. Of, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I know that's more to do with uh, the last session. But it's okay, like but yeah, it's, of, yeah, you're welcome to. <laughs> you know, I like how what after what I've done, story wise, you're going. You know what? Yeah, he probably would keep this. So here, have this. Um, and I like the fact that although it didn't work out in our favor, I like the fact that it didn't. We did try to not just be like. Yeah, you tried to keep him. Yeah. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we 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 looked for other because I mean, it would if we had managed to get information out of um, it might have developed the story in a different way to what it is now going to develop, which means that we're kind of going in fucking blind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, um, I, I I mean, I'm not gonna lie as well with these seas being magic and everything like that, I was not expecting them to be pirates. Yeah, right. Especially like, the pirates that seem to appear from nowhere. Yeah. Um, it's more so you'd think, oh, it's protected. It will be protected by magic. But let's no, but they be decks basically. <laughs> but apparently, no, no, there, there, there is, there is decks. Think you like motorways. You still get bad drivers. So, yeah. Um, uh, Kitty. I quite like the idea of me and Aria like tip bags of loot. <laughs> Like from the golden order, and we've got to like stand on the sides of the ship so we don't like tip it one way. <laughs> yeah, you just have to be like the balance. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just had a thought. The kid's asleep, isn't he? No, he woke up. Remember the big boom? Oh, did he? From oh. Eric's thunder wave. 
Okay, because like I was just like, a, oh sweet Jesus, not again moment. See if these men turn into ink, so help me God. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, hmm, it'd have been different if they'd been reading like, was it twenty thousand leagues under the sea or something, right before you <laughs> went to bed? Yeah, that'd have been, you know, worse. I think, but yeah. uh, it's fine. No, he was awake. He actually woke up. I think as Crumbar ran up the stairs. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, reach. It was nice to survive a battle. Yeah, right. Quite well, actually. <laughs> 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 to be fair, though, one more hit like that, and I could have been down. That's the crit, though, was um, a nasty way of making did the tension wrap up. Did he crit three times? What, my guy? Aye. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I'd need to scroll back Chris through the... Up there. I think he has, you know. That's amazing. That's... I don't think anybody's ever critted three times. <laughs> to be fair, he gets to make three attacks a turn, though, so... Yeah, it's more chance of it. Yeah, but you can see what an enemy that can actually match a party can do, because he held his own for ages. Yeah, like, I was really debating keeping him alive, because... Yeah. Mm. But, I mean, just so you know, guys, he was challenge rating two. Right. Uh, that means that he's a match for a party at level two. So, oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Nice. And he was, visually, you could see that. Um, but that's like why I want to do this, because you have fought people of the Pirate Bandito level before. You've fought crazy bat things that may or may not have been real. You've now fought somebody a bit tougher. Um, you're going to have to explain to the captain downstairs if you somehow survive this encounter with the ghost boat. You know, like it's... Yeah. Because remember, that's... Um, was it Arena, I called her? That's her gone. She did. Aww. Yeah. I mean, that's the first thing the pirate captain guy did. Is just yeah. drop and stab her. I mean, not really. It's him. It was, it was what he wanted to do. I asked him. He said, stab her. I went, okay. And then, yeah. But no, hmm. I think he did pretty damn well, to be honest. I think um, there's still a lot of unsureness about what you should be doing but I think that's just you trying to get into the mindset of what your characters would necessarily do um, but I think um, this has probably been the most efficient combat you've have had but obviously we do have another player which has AOE powers Isn't yeah that, that lightning bolt was pretty well, baller well the, the thunder wave at the start was the one I was talking about there with the taking out three guys and wrecking the fourth uh, that's pretty good and that's what I mean by moves, uh, Callum, that do guaranteed damage are awesome. Because even though one of them saved, he still took 7 damage out of a top, like a possible 15. So, it's still nice. Do you know what I mean? I mean well, it was a one-hit kill after that, wasn't it, I think? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, what are we calling this one? Callisto's Slaughter, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> Take it to right as you. <laughs> I'm going to stick with... My first idea, and I seem to get anything better than. Oh, sounds good. And to get yeah. anything that they want to put instead of Callisto's slaughter, because I know we spoke about that last time. Mm. Put the smile and bandit. The what? Sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, smile and pirate, technically, but I still like Callisto's slaughter better. Uh, it's again. It's up to you guys. I quite like it because it's Kalista's laughter and then Kalista's slaughter. I like that for uh, reading chapter titles, or at least. Um, yeah, that's quite good. Actually. Um, as was ordained by the previous sessions' prophecies. I also. What was the other thing I was going to say? There was going to say something else on top of that. Pirates grinning. Stuff. Naming. What was the other name that was mentioned there? Grinning pirate. Smiling pirate. No, it's. Oh, is death. Yeah, it's one. Oh, that was it. It was um, XP for the previous week that I'd never gave every day. So every day I had a hundred on top of what I've given you for last week. I say last week oh. mostly, like the last time it happened, because um, I never actually signed any. So is that seven fifty oh, okay. then? Yeah. How far are we off our next level? 150. And we're going to have a long lie next time, which is Whoop. a pity. There were 150 off it, but we can't survive a big battle, so... Just, 
Oh man, we're wrecked next time. <laughs> to be fair, you've still got your full healing power left, Grumbar. I don't know what you're worried about. You've got all your spell slots, right? So yep. the only thing you need to do is patch yourself up a bit and run at something. Yep. So we've still got a fully armed operational Grumbar. Reach if he dodges constantly should be okay. <laughs> A couple of healing potions yeah. and I'm back in there again, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, the good thing about being a monk is you're relatively self-contained. Um, yeah. But yeah, wait, let me take this up. Nice. So are we so jumping on the shimmering ship next time? Session. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I, <laughs> thought he, I thought he shimmered away. No, it appeared. That's what happened at the end of the session. It appeared from oh, nowhere. Right. So it didn't go away? No, it appeared. Like, there was no right. ship and then there was a in ship. In other words, we can still interrogate this prick. Yeah, he's still there. Like he just he just appeared, did a wee bow to everything, and threw daggers at the guy that was like going to be captured. Just need a debate if it's worth it now. It's a bigger debate. I mean, it could be assumed he the he's the one that hid the ship from you guys. Perchance. Hmm. I'm I'm still more thinking that we should get, those daggers seem to be pretty powerful, so we should definitely give them to Kitty or something like that. She can use stone weapons, right? She's a rogue. How many daggers do you have on you, Kitty? Is it nineteen? Uh, like daggers? Is it like just actual daggers? Oh, just two. See, she got two. Like I got two daggers and a small knife. So she's a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Yeah. Um, thanks. Anything else to cover? I think we're good here. I think we've named the session. We've got the the catch up chat goals. There we go. That's that other thing. I knew there was something floating around my head. Right. So our current goals are reach the Golden Citadel. We're still working on that. Obviously, we're having stuff that is stopping that. So we're working on it. And then obviously find out what's happening in the abyss. Uh, so I think we'll leave them running for now. And uh, yeah. Obviously, yeah, we can. Boyfriend. We'll discuss with them at the start of the next session as well. Make sure everybody's still happy with them, because obviously, I assume that at some point, ideas will come into your guys' heads if you know midweek, etc., between sessions, blah blah blah. And we can obviously. That's why I'm doing it at the start and the end of a session to give you those chances to reassess them, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, goodbye, everybody who listened. Like, subscribe, etc., etc. Tell friends, you know buy all of our merchandise, but then tell us what you want in the form of merchandise, we'll make it and then you can buy it. <laughs> um, Just a t-shirt that says glug on it. Yeah. That'll be it. It'll be like a D20 and the one is a glug. <laughs> 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 the 20 is probably Kitty stealing something. Like <laughs> it's not me, it's no, no, Kitty thing. with her rapier. <laughs> yeah, against the bats. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Fairly well.